Hello, this is Jeannie Alcott. We are so happy to offer you a great calendar for 2025. This calendar has beautiful nature scenes and spiritual inspiration. There's a scripture every month to give you God's Word and plenty of space for notes and appointments and a spiral bound for easy use. We're offering this religious inspirations calendar to you for a gift of $12 into this ministry. So be sure to get yours by calling 918-459-9191 or go to our website, alcottministries.org, or you can write to us. Request your calendar with God's Word today. God bless you. This is Word of Power broadcast with Jeannie Alcott. You are about to enter into a miracle time of receiving God's Word for your life and have an anointed time of prayer where His Spirit can speak to your heart. God has filled Jeannie with His compassion to see you be lifted up and receive the desires in your heart. After she prays for you, you'll receive information on how you can get in contact with Jeannie and John and receive prayer, and also take advantage of some great resources for your life. Now enter into this time and receive all God has for you. It is so great to spend this time with you. Thank you for joining me. This is Jeannie Alcott. We're going to talk about how you get the best results for what you want to accomplish. Now most of us would think about how important it is to work hard and plan and have good resources if we want to accomplish something. But here's what we must do in addition to all of that. And it may very well be the most important action. We are to relax. When we relax in God, we will get the best results. When we don't trust Him, we can end up hurting what we're trying to accomplish. We hurt the very reason we're doing it. We sabotage our purpose. But when we relax and trust God, He keeps our thinking straight, our heart calm, and our spirit at peace. It also keeps us from making mistakes and hurting others in the process. And I know we think about all that we have on us and the challenge and the impossible odds that seem against us. That's enough to keep anyone from relaxing. You know, we can have a tendency to take it on ourselves, look to ourselves to get the results. So every once in a while, we have to be reminded to relax and trust God. It can be so easy to be disturbed about not feeling that we have enough of something. We feel we don't have what we need in order to see a victory. There's a story about how this happened for Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of Britain during World War II. At the beginning of the war, he was trying to get support from other nations and build up resources in his country to protect against the offensive of Hitler and the Nazis. You can imagine the fear level of thinking how the world would be if they took over. He didn't quite have the confidence of how they could stop that evil machine that was running over country after country. Churchill couldn't relax inside. So his wife began to see this was affecting him. Then one of his staff members revealed to her that Churchill had become so difficult to work for and unpleasant that he was oppressive to the very ones he needed to help him. So she knew something must be done. Even in the midst of the trial, he had to get to the place he could relax and trust. If not, he would be working against his whole purpose to win the war. If he would relax, he could get the best results from himself and his people. So when she thought about what she could do, she decided to sit down and write him a note. In it, she described how she had seen a worsening in his manner. He wasn't as kind as he used to be. She pointed out that because he had so much power to give orders, he must keep a high standard of behavior. His wife reminded him of how he must relax and be calm, and that would cause others to admire and respect him. And then she warned him of this. She said, you won't get the best results by irascibility and rudeness. She knew he wasn't going to cultivate loyalty and get the best out of the people around him. Therefore, he would sabotage his very purpose. Then she ended the note by assuring him of her love and devotion to him. See, she wanted to make sure he understood her motivation for writing that note and speaking to him that way was because she cared about him. How did he respond? It was reported that the next day after he read that note, people said he was at ease even took extra time to rest in bed. We know from history, during the worst times of that war, Churchill spoke words of courage and hope to the people, words of trust. And because of it, he did get the best results, and his people remained strong, and the war was won. The enemy was defeated. If we want to win the war, if we want to defeat the enemy who has plans against us, 
we must relax, trust God. We don't allow the conditions to eat at us so much that it keeps us agitated or in fear or stressed. That's how we get the best results, instead of getting results that sabotage our purpose. And really, that's how we can also get good results from those who support us. As I said, if we're relaxing in God, we don't disrupt the very purpose for which we're striving. I mean, think about when you have a need for something to change. You're trying to make it better. Being stressed and anxious and coming across bad-tempered isn't going to help you get the outcome you desire. You know how it is when you're irritated or fearful. You start reaching for some kind of help or answer. So you reach out for the wrong thing. And the reason you did was because not relaxing and trusting God pushed you into doing it. This is what pushed the man David in the Bible into an action that showed he wasn't trusting God. And oh, did he pay for it. So did those around him. And many times that's what happens. Others have to pay for our inability to be at ease and trust what God can do. So it's important for everyone that we know how to relax. David's problem was being concerned if he had enough fighting troops to take care of any enemy that would come against Israel. He was king at the time, and we know from David's history that God had given him many victories. No enemy had been able to overcome his kingdom. Yet he was having difficulty in trusting God for future victories. Now, I've been there. Have you? You're facing something in the future, and yet it's a bit difficult to relax and trust God that it will be taken care of. But if we were to think of it, how many victories has God given us up to that point? Many. If we saw a spiritual list that heaven keeps of all the victories God has given us, then we would be reminded of how astounding it is. It's amazing. So as we face the future, we can relax. That will give us the best outcome of what we're facing. But David was not willing to relinquish his concern. He just wanted to make sure that he had plenty of military so he could defeat his enemies. In other words, he wasn't relying on God's supernatural support, but what he had in the natural. And that's more difficult, isn't it? To rely on God's supernatural support instead of what we can do. We want to see what's around us that can help us. So we start grabbing for it. Instead, we should relax and rely on God. Just remember that phrase when you're facing something causing you to get stressed and out of sorts. Relax and rely. Relax in God and rely on Him. That will get you the best results. Because David wasn't relaxing and relying on God, he gave a command to his chief military officer, Joab, to go number the people in the tribes and give him account. Well, Joab knew this wasn't good, so he resisted. He reminded David they would get in trouble with God if this was done. What Joab was saying to him was tantamount to the note that the wife of Churchill wrote to him. Joab knew David was taking action that wasn't good for their purpose. It would work against them. So he said to him the resources of God were abundant. They could trust that he would take care of the numbers and make sure there were enough for the strength of the nation. God always takes care of the numbers, so to speak. No matter what they appear to be, God will make sure we have the right support at the right time if we depend on him. But David was too riled up. He wasn't depending on God. So he pushed off Joab's objections and said for him to go out and do it. He and his staff made their way into every kingdom and every tribe and came back and gave David the count of 1.1 million fighting men. Afterwards, the Bible says, And God was displeased with this reliance on human resources, and he punished Israel. What offended God? The fact that David wouldn't trust him. He wanted to rely on human resources. He was putting his trust in something else than God. That's because he wouldn't relax. He was uptight and wondering, what if? What if we don't have enough people? What if a big army comes against us? Those are the types of questions that keep us from trusting God. What if this disease is too much for me? What if the money doesn't come in on time? I'm not sure I can make this happen in my work. What if I can't be strong enough for this family member? What if that appointment doesn't go well? And those questions keep us from relaxing. David did the very thing that worked against his purpose. His purpose was to protect his kingdom and keep it under the favor of God. His actions did the opposite. The what-if questions can drive us to the opposite of what we should do, relax and trust in God. But when we do that, that's when God can come in and pour that favor out on us 
and take care of us and supply and provide. We just relax in all that He can do and will do. We know that we can trust Him not just for past victories but future ones. That's how we get the best results. So let's trust Him right now for the victory you need at this moment. You don't have to worry about what if something is too much for you or you don't have enough support or you're not sure how your desire can be met. Just relax and trust God that He will send you the best results. So we're doing that now as we come together in prayer. We're combining our faith before God. Let's pray. Oh God, how trustworthy you are. You have given my friend so many victories, and now they are facing a time when they must have another one. They need to see some good results, the best ones. So instead of being anxious about what if something doesn't go right, we know you will take care of everything. We will not rely on human resources. We rely on yours. What you have is so much greater than any kind of time or strength or courage or peace or funds or love that we could ever provide. And you're saying that you're giving them every kind of support they need. So the actions they take will be based on faith, not on the what if question. They trust you. They trust you to provide the best results for their life. So we receive those now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, you can expect the best results now. God is on it. Relax and trust Him for everything you need. He cares about you so much that He has called John and me here to pray for you. When you tell us what's going on in your life and you share from your heart, we take those precious words from you. And I lay my hands on them as a faith contact, and then we pray over you. We speak God's Word over you. And we also write to you and give you words from God's Spirit. And then we expect another victory to come your way. So share with us soon. Okay, I'm going to give us our spiritual power line. At the end of every message, God gives us a word or two to speak over our life. It's very powerful to do that. This one is just one word. Go around saying to yourself, relax, relax. And I tell you, that's when God's miracles can be released for you. And to help you be able to relax and trust in God, be sure to get this message. The name of it is Relax. We'll send you all five parts of it and the prayer times. It's offer number AM840. That's 840. We'd be happy to send a CD of it to you for a gift of $8 into this ministry. Or you can get a download of it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries dot O-R-G. Our announcer will give you all the information. And I want you to know that we have some great ministry for you on our website. Just go there and be helped. Take advantage of all our resources. We have one minute videos that when you watch them, you can feel the Spirit of God. I mean, these are powerful. They can help you. There's also a devotional from me and prayers and special gift offers and a blog that takes you deeper in the Word. So go to alcopministries.org. I'm excited for you to join me again tomorrow. Be ready for what God is going to do. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. God's anointing was flowing into your life in such a great way during this time. Jeannie and John encourage you to come into a faith agreement with them for your desires and needs and dreams. As you share what's happening in your life, they will pray and speak mighty scriptures over you. So call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 34000, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org we have so much to offer you encouragement and prayer special gift offers and devotionals and inspiring videos and remember that as you give into this ministry you're giving into the hands of god and he promises to do great works for others and for your life now don't miss being with us again to receive your word of power